Good morning, my dear friends. Today we are back again in the season and the time for prayer. Please tune in if you can and invite somebody. As usual, we continue today. We'll be looking at genuine friendship. Genuine friendship. Praying for genuine friendship. And we keep improving every single day. So today we are much better in terms of picture quality and the internet provision as well. As well as what to do with the video. I believe the preceding series, the five sessions we've done, you've been praying over those prayers at least seven times a day. That's the instruction the Lord gave us at the beginning. If you are watching and you've been praying the previous prayers you've done, the five prayers, at least seven times a day, please tell me now. We interact a bit. So we have started a bit early to compensate for the days we've started a bit later in the course of the week. So that we are even. Integrity is a matter of the heart. Integrity is more important than image. <clears throat> so please, if you are tuned in, tell me who you are. I can't see. Tell me where you're watching me from. And also, if you can, do share. If you can comment, do comment. If you can like, do like. Today is very, very important. <clears throat> Maybe this session is the most important session you've ever had over prayer. I'm asking you to tell me who you are and why you're watching me from. As we give a minute to invite others to join in. All right. Um... Anybody you want to tell me something, that's fine. Today we are dealing with praying for genuine friendship. Praying for genuine friendship. We are praying for genuine friendships today. Praise the Lord. We are praying for genuine friendships. Genuine friendships. We are asking God to give us grace to pray, to have genuine friends, and for us to be genuine friends to those friends that will come to us. I believe the other sessions have been a great blessing unto you. Please tell me if you're watching for the first time and where you're watching us from. With that said, I wanted you to know that in life, two will always be better than one. In Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9, the Bible says two are better than one because there will be a great reward for their labor. There will be fruitfulness. The power of friendship at its essence should be one that brings in fruitfulness. Le Filoi Silo from my name is Rosina, watching from Lesotho. God bless you, uh, Rosina. I'll give you a prophecy towards the end of the session, uh, Rosina. Please, if I forget, do remind me. Thank you for tuning in from Lesotho. I will give you a word of prophecy just here, live. Please remind me when I'll be trying to close in concluding remarks. I'll give you something to say to you. There's something the Lord wants to do for you. Because you've honored the prophet, the prophet will you receive his reward. So to friendship that is genuine should bring in fruitfulness. That's number one. Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9. Two are always better than one because there will be fruitfulness. There will be reward, good reward from their labor. Then it also says one will chase a thousand, but two will chase ten thousand. So the second thing that genuine friendship does, it gives you multiplication. Number one, it makes you fruitful. Number two, it brings in multiplication. It brings in multiplication. Instead of chasing a thousand, you now have the ability to chase ten thousand. That's what genuine friendship does. The third one, it says two shall lie together and they'll keep warm. So the third thing that genuine friendship does to you, it brings in addition to your life. It adds warmth 
to your life. So genuine friendship multiplies. Genuine friendship adds. Genuine friendship brings in fruitfulness. But fake friendships subtract from your life. Fake friendships also divide. Fake friendships are never there to make you fruitful. Fake friendships are never there to add to you or to, to, to multiply in your life. They are there to either bring division or to subtract from your life. So in the equation of life, in board mass, genuine friendships multiplies and adds either fruitfulness or increase or warmth, but fake friendships subtract and divide. Fake friendships, the hallmark of fake friendships is division and subtraction. Wherever you are found with a person that has a dividing spirit, a gossiper, a slanderer, a person with malice, they are always dividing. They cause confusion. Or you find a subtractor. They tell you that one is not good for you. This one is evil. They want to be the only friends you have Subtractors are fake friends. But good genuine friends, they add, they multiply, they bring in fruitfulness, and they bring in warmth, and also they bring multiplication. So today, in the spirit of prayer, from the spirit of the heart, the Lord is leading us to pray against false friends, fake friends, Greedy friends, manipulative friends, dividing friends, subtracting friends, and pray that God gives us fruitful friends, the ones that add to our lives and the ones that make us better. I pray that as we do this, you attach your heart for a short time. I know most of you are busy now, but spare 10 minutes to attach your heart to this matter. Life is the heart of the person. And today when I pray, in your camp of fake friends, the angel of God shall go ahead and destabilize that camp and create the right image for you to know who they are. The Lord will expose fake friends around you, fake family members. And then the Lord will deliver you from that environment and position you for right friends and expose you to right friends. So exposure from wrong friends, exposure to right friends. This anointing is present in my prayer room now, and the Lord is going to help you to that. Some of you have lost in life. Some of you are in confusion in life. Some of you are in pain in life. Some of you are in tears and sorrow in life. Why? Because useless friends, fake friends, advised you encouraged you, cheered for you, motivated you out of what you should have persevered into and would have had peace. The Bible says in closing, before we get to prayer, it says, good company brings in good, but bad company corrupts good morals. So fake friendships are corruption. The highest corruption in the world is not in government. The highest corruption in the world is among fake friends because the foundational spirit of fake, fakeness of friendship is corruption. A fake friend is the highest corrupter you can ever come across in life, more than a government official, because bad company corrupts good morals. The aim of fake friendships is to corrupt you. But today we are praying against fake friendship. And the prayer today is a prayer for genuine friends or genuine friendships. In daily prayers with Prophet John C.M. The scripture we are reading today is Proverbs 18 verse 24, New International Version. The Bible reads, and I quote, <coughs> One who has unreliable friends will soon come to ruin. But there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So in life, in the school of friendship, there are two lanes. One lane is one that gives you unreliable friends that are fake openly. Then the other lane gives you a friend that is genuine, that sticks closer than, than your brother or your blood relation. 
So life in the school of friendship has two lanes. One lane gives you fake friends that are unreliable. And that, ro that road, the first lane of unreliable friendship or fake friendships, the end of that journey is ruin. But there's also another lane in the school of life in terms of friendship that leads you to family, relationship, sticking closer than the brother. So in the supernatural, friendship has got two lanes. The first lane, which is the left side, is a lane of fake friends. At the end of your destination, there's a, there's a deep hole. There's a, there's a Bermuda Triangle. There's, there's a cut wall there. It will kill you. The end of that journey is ruined. The end of that journey is being stolen from. The end of that journey is destruction and death. But on the right side of friendship, there's a lane that takes you to family. You move and the destination is genuine family, genuine friend, somebody in whom your purpose will be fulfilled and will make you happy and give you joy in life. So in Proverbs 18.24, one that has unreliable friends will soon come to ruin. But there's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. As a prophet, I know in my church genuine members and fake members. And when they do what they do, I am never surprised. I want to tell you ahead of time, members of my church, I know your heart. I know who is genuine. I know who is not genuine. And in the process of time, I get to know who is who. And no one can cheat me in that line. I have a clear understanding that that is how it is. So as you watch me now, we are going to pray a prayer that the Lord is going to use to help us to separate from wrong and evil friends. Please, if you can, share this broadcast, if you are able to. If you can, share this broadcast, if you are able to. If you can, share this broadcast, if you are able to. I've just shared mine on my WhatsApp statuses. If you can, please share this broadcast. If you can share on WhatsApp status, do share. I just there shared. I've shared too. So, what prayer are we offering this morning? <clears throat> and we pray together. <clears throat> this prayer is a very sincere prayer. I am asking you to pray it with me sincerely and don't miss it. The prayer is, and we'll recite it together. You are saying, my father, my father, wherever you are, say after me, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus Christ, sincerely and heartily I pray. Abba Father, thank you for keeping me alive and healthy this far for taking care of me and my family, for protecting me and for giving me a future. Now, Daddy, may you help me and give me courage to disassoci disassociate and delete any connections, any acquaintances, any associations, and any friendships that I have once I associate with but never consulted you over. The ones that bring shame to me, the ones that bring pain to me, the ones that bring confusion to me, the ones that bring distraction to me. Friendships that are satanically arranged, influenced by a demonic gang hub of familiar spirits looking to find expression of their evil agenda in us being together, arranged by foundational 
spirit. Inspired by destiny star hunting spirits and orchestrated by manipulating, domineering, bullying, and purpose terminating spirits. Once managed by the spirit of witchcraft and occultism. My God, my God, uplift me out and quicken me off the entrapments of delay, limitation, and confusion caused by those associations. Favor me in the place of misfortune caused by these associations. Realign my focus and priorities in life thereafter that I may focus on healthy and destiny-helping relations and associations. Their own Baba, help me find and associate long-term with genuine destiny-helping associations, acquaintances, friends, and mates like Jonathan was to David in the Bible, sacrificial friends, selfless, Destiny centered, truly God fearing, emotionally matured, and ones who sincerely care about me, and I will do the same for them mutually and consensually in revert. Friends that will make me ten times better morally, spiritually, intellectually, and financially by their advice. Prayers and our partnership. By prayers, by their advice, prayers and our partnership. Those I will trust and our age together with. Those who stick close, closer than my blood and biological relations to me in good, bad and terrible times. Ones with whom our destinies permit, our visions give direction, and our purposes guarantee the common destination filled with success. Father, let me be the person, be that person and friend that I'm praying for to myself first before I am to the other. These prayers, I write them as the Lord leads me in meditation and in prayer. We are going to pray this prayer three times together and you are going to pray it yourself seven times in the day. You say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus and by the blood of Jesus Christ, sincerely and heartily I pray. Abba, Father, thank you for keeping me alive and healthy this far. Be saying this prayer after me wherever you are. Say, for taking care of me and my family. For protecting me, say it after me. For giving me a future. Now, Daddy, may you help and give me courage to de disassociate and delete any connections, acquaintances, associations, and friendships that I have, ones I associate with but never consulted you over. Bringers of pain. Bringers of shame, bringers of confusion, bringers of destruction, satanically arranged, influenced by demonic gang up of familiar spirits looking for, to find expressions of their evil agenda in us being together with those associations, arranged by foundational spirits, friendships inspired by destined star hunting spirits and orchestrated by manipulating, domineering, bullying or bullish and purpose terminating spirits. Ones managed by the spirit of witchcraft and occultism. My God uplift me out and quicken me off the entrapments of delay, limitation and confusion Caused by those associations. I believe you are praying with me. If you are, say amen. Favor me in the place of misfortune. Caused by these associations. Realign my focus 
and priorities in life thereafter that I may focus on healthy and destiny-helping relationships. Their own Baba, help me find and associate long-term with genuine destiny-helping associations, acquaintances, friendships, mates like Jonathan was to David in the Bible, sacrificial friends, selfless friends, destiny-centered friends, truly God-fearing friends, emotionally matured friends, and ones who sincerely care about me, and I will do the same for them mutually and consensually in revert. Friends that will make me ten times better morally, spiritually, intellectually, and financially by their advice, by their prayers, and their partnerships. Those I will trust and age together with, and I believe you are praying with me. Those who stick closer to me than my brothers and my blood, in the good times, in the bad times, or terrible times. Ones with whom our destinies permit, our visions give direction, our purposes guarantee the common destination filled with success. Father, let me be that person and friend that I have prayed for first to myself, then to the others that will come. As you have prayed this prayer, I believe the Spirit of the Lord has heard you because you've prayed with the prophet from your heart. You can pray this prayer, the minimum standard to pray this prayer every single day is seven times because seven is a number of perfection. The prayer we've offered sincerely to God, pray over it seven times in the day today. And do share. And I see God giving you victory against strong friends that lead to ruin, ruin and destruction. And that the Lord will favor you with destined helper, helpers and friends. This can be your husband. This can be your friend. This can be your work colleague. This can be your business partner. This can be your fellow student of you. you. This can be your brother or sister. The Lord has sent divine help. The anointing from this place is strong enough to help you to have the right friends. Let me get to comments now. So that lady, I say, I'll give a prophecy. Let me give you one quick one. My sister from is uh, what's his um, Lesotho, Lefiloe, Rosina. Rosina, the Lord is about to say to you. You sent a comment from Lesotho. You are the first one. Maybe I'll be giving prophecies, God willing, to the first commenter. The Lord will say to you, Rosina, what I'm saying now, please confirm and say whether it's true or not. The Lord is about to say to you, and say to you, Malitari. I don't know whether you're married or not, but I am sensing misfortune and unsettlement in that area, Lefeloi, Rosina, from Lesotho. But the Lord is saying, he will say to you, you, Rosina, you will not age without a settled home that has peace. That's number one. Number two, Rosina, you are not going to die prematurely. In your mother's family, people premature, I don't know, your father's family, they stay longer. They are old gogos, they stay a long time. But in your father's mother's family, people prematurely die and divorce. The Lord is saying, he will say to you, Rosina from Lesotho, please confirm what I'm saying and tell me what I'm saying, if it's true or not, so that we prove it as we are on now. Praise the Lord. The Lord is about to say to you. The second, the third thing, Rosina from Lesotho, please, if you're on, confirm what I'm saying. The devil wants you to be afflicted with limitation. When you start doing things, Rosina, I'm, I'm talking to you for the first time, I don't know you, you give up easily. That giving up is not just a weakness. That giving up is a spirit of limitation. So marriage, misfortune, no settlement. You start doing things, you give up easy. School-wise, whatever, that is a spirit of limitation. Please, Rosina, confirm if you're on here. 
if you are on here. My daughter from China, Mutumba Piri, I hear the word of the Lord. I will not say so much, but inbox me on Facebook. I'm not on WhatsApp now. Send me a message on inbox on Facebook. I'll respond to you on this channel. There's a personal prophecy I want to give to you, but it's private. Mutumba Piri, my daughter, I know you are my daughter. You are in China, I know you. Associations that you have are wrong. They will destroy you, my daughter. They will harm you. I'm telling you this as your father. We haven't talked about this. I'm just telling you. Check your friends. They are leading you astray. And because I love you as your father and I care, please change. If you can, send me a message privately. I'm looking for confirmation of that prophecy uh, to that lady from Lesotho. She was on. I don't know if you're on now. Anyway, due to time, <coughs> my sister phoned me, Akola Wale from Nigeria. I think you sent me a prayer request. Please send me if there's a testimony. The Lord has said within 14 days, God is going to give you money that will make you move. I don't know if you want to move, phone me. I don't know, it's like you want to move to some place. I don't know what you want to do. Please tell me you are in the UK. I know you, I think, from the previous time. But the Lord will give you money to reset to you. I don't know if it's a resettlement or it's a permanent movement or it's a visit. I don't know. And you've been trusting God to give you money to make a movement. You are saying yes. Please tell me what it is. An online community, you are lucky today or you are blessed. God has given me power to prophesy. I'm a, I want to prophesy now. You are lucky. I don't know this normally, but you are lucky. My sister phoned me. Tell me, what, what are you, this prophecy you are confirming, Tell, tell us now, because people should know whether we are true or fake prophets. And please tell the people if you spoke to me about this. Says, yes, sir, I'm in the UK, sir. So confirm the prophecy, my sister. You've said yes. This is Shepi, Shepi Makuni. Shepi, who is the third born? You're from South Africa? Awesome. First time watching. I want to find out who is the first born and who is the third born. And Shepi, I want to find out if you have a middle name. There's something I want to say. Please confirm quickly. I see somebody saying, watching first time. Uh, yes. Online community, if you say hallelujah and praise the Lord, I may just give you a prophecy. The spirit of a prophet is subject to a prophet. Yes, Mojarefa. I was looking for this young man. This young man, Shepi, I don't know how old he is. He's supposed to be in a medical field. He's supposed to wear a white garment, a white cloth. He's not supposed to be in business field. His mind is medical or uh, chemical engineering. Okay, yes, you say my middle name is Eunice Shepi because I saw a middle name. So there are two prophecies for you, Shepi, from South Africa. The first one is concerning you, Eunice Shepi. Who are you named after? Confirm. Is this your grandmother's name or your auntie's name? Confirm this, then I'll tell you. Then concerning your brother Mojalefa. Confirm. He's supposed to be wearing a white. He's supposed to be a doctor. He's supposed to. In, sorry. He's supposed to be in the lab or a, those work where you wear a garment. You know this white coat, not medical or computer. No. What is he doing? And confirm your name. Who are you named after? I just want to give you a prophecy. There's certain things I want to say. It's getting hot here. Ah. Okay. Yes. All you have said. Is true. I am a daughter of Prophet Philip Banda, and all you said, he also said to me, Thank you. This year has been declared. This I'm reading this comment from, yes, from uh, Rosina. This year has been declared, uh, God will intervene in everything that concerns me. Thank you for connecting me with my father. Amen and amen. Lefilo. I respect Prophet Philip Banda. He is my mentor. He is, he's, a, he's, a, he's a kingdom giant. I'm happy to have said what he said. And you know, I am saying this. I wasn't there when he said so. And all I have said is true. Lesotho confirms. This is sometimes how you check whether somebody is a true prophet or not. I am online now. No prior information. No informer. I'm alone. And she confirms. And I honor Prophet Philip and I respect him as a key mentor in my life. And I thank you for confirming. If your Prophet Philip Banda said so, I say the same thing. No contravention. 
what he declared is coming to pass. And thank you for confirming prophecies to be true totally. If you are lucky, I'll give you prophecy. Okay? My sister, uh, what's her name? please write. I want to respond. I want to respond. Um, I want to respond. Oh, he's doing marketing. Okay, so he say I don't know who was named after. So listen, your brother is a is a if, even if he's doing medicine, please say this and give him this video. He's uh, supposed to work with what you wear a lab coat. Or in the future, may God give him a company to do with a uh, this lab coat. In all sincerity, your brother is supposed to work in the hospital or in the lab. That's him. He's creative. His brain is designed and was wired to find something. But he's doing marketing. Purpose in destiny was supposed to be like that. That's the contravention. Then you say you don't know who you are named after. The, what I see over you, Shepi Makumi. If you are, are you married or not married? I want to say something in the Eunice name. I don't know where your father got it from, but this Makumi, I don't think it's Zulu. It's maybe either Eastern Cape or these other places. But your name, the middle name, whoever you are named after, was these people who pray in white garment. Now there should be a challenge with marriage. Tell me if you are married, and I also see a child in your family, but there's no marriage. Tell me, Shepi, I want to say more. You say he's still looking for a job, okay? So Shepi says, not married. Hey, let me use my phone. This one is confusing me. I want to read and I can't see easily. It's not going fast. Oh, he says, not, not married. How old are you and when were you ready to marry and why are you not married, Shepi? There's misfortune with that. And who has a child and is not married in your direct family? The Lord today has come to you and the Lord today is here to help you and take you to another level. He's about to deliver you from that misfortune. I see in less than one year, eight months. Ah, okay, so she says, okay, Fr Fr Franca, if you want, I'll come to you, sister. My father is from Springs, they, they told us that is Soto, yes, because it's not Zulu. Soto, I agree, Springs, I don't know where it is. I just didn't see you in KwaZulu Natal or Devon, no. I saw you off there, the Cape side coming down like this. So, Sutu, I don't know where Sutus come from. But I'm telling you, Foundation Shepi, because spirits, blood we carry, comes from our ancestors. So, spirits from our ancestors can follow us. So there's a misfortune spirit. He says, I'm 27 years and I want to get married this year. All my cousins have children and no marriage. You remember what I said? Confirmation of prophecy from Shepi. And please do me a favor. You should follow this page if you can. Shepi, thank you for confirming prophecy. You people are lucky today. I didn't intend to do this. You are so blessed. But I'll give prophecy. So Shepi, if I be a prophet of God, I declare your brother will find a job in a pharmaceutical environment to suit with his uh, calling, initial calling. And he will be distributing products where he will require to wear a gown, this white gown. So that the Lord realigns him. And I declare this will not take 27 days. Your brother will find a job. One. Number two, on you, uh, Shepi, I pray now, may the spirit of marital misfortune in Eunice be broken. I declare, if I be a prophet of God, in less than three months, you will be testifying, and this online community will see it, that a man will reach and would want to pay Lobola. And this is coming. The man may not be as light as you want. This man may be wearing, wearing goggles, but a bit dark. He will be wearing spectacles. He might be Svenda. I don't know. I'm just saying, Svenda, if it's a tribe, I don't know. But a businessman. Your time has come, Shepi. I break the bond and the spirit of misfortune. I declare, if I be a man of God, it will not take you long before that comes to pass. It is coming to pass. The altar in that name from your father's generation, from your mother's line, as you have confirmed, 
is broken. I declare to you, Shepi, you will settle. You will break the foundation of marital stagnation and misfortune. You are the one God has chosen to be a Joseph in that generation. And when God sets you free, you are going to be happy. Even if you don't like Svenda, it might be. Misfortune is broken. It is done in Jesus' name. Franka Ifioma, tell me where you are watching me from. And Shepi, tell your brother to tune in. I may say more than that because I want to talk to him about relationship life. That's why Shepi, after this broadcast, send me message in this messenger. I want to say something in his relationship life. He's about to make a mistake. I'll say it to him private. Send me message. Let's communicate there after the broadcast. Franka, if you are, tell me where you are telling, calling us. So, Shepi, your time has come. Be excited. It is done. I'm not a scam. I'm a man of God. And somebody says, true, you are a true prophet of God. Thank you so much, my sister. From I know. My brother is out of the yard, okay? Watching from the U.S., Franka Ifioma. Franka Ifioma, may the Lord give you grace with your papers. That's number one. Number two, may God break the spirit of witchcraft that revolves around your father's family. I don't know if you are from Nigeria. If Yoma sounds like Nigeria, I don't know if you have anything to do with regions closer to Anambra State. Please tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. The Lord is breaking misfortune. Fioma, if Yoma. There's in your family, there's misfort there's spirit of delay. People just have a necessary delay delay. Confirm it, if Yoma from the US. You say I have a boyfriend from Swana. Yes. Swana's Venda, I don't know. This same man, if he is that no, not very light, I don't know if you saw she confirmed Shepi who was wearing gogo or whose mother was teaching, was in teaching. Tell me, then I'll tell you further. You are correct, Papa. Franca Ifioma. Franca, join into this page and you should send me a private message in Messenger. I want to tell you further. I want to tell you that if your ma, because you've connected to a prophet online who is not a scam, a, a man of God, the spirit of witchcraft, witchcraft and delay and paper delay, the Lord has broken it. I speak in the purest of heart and sincerity of spirit. If I be a man of God, if your ma, if it takes two months, you don't hear good news, that will shake you then God has not called me. I'm telling you the truth. I authorize you to write as a scam on Facebook. In two months' time, God has seen your tears. If you are, my, you are a giver, Franca, you are a giver. You have your heart like your mother and your grandmother. You are such a giver. Your givings have come to God for a memorial. The Lord has remembered you like Cornelius. I shout and I speak from here. He has said to you now, that he has delivered you and set you free. It will never be that you'll be in tears if you're again. That you'll be crying for delay again. God has chosen to make you a spectacle in this generation. In your family. The younger siblings and cousins who've gone ahead of you. It has gone away. You will now be the one they will look up to. You will change your destiny. You will change your family. She says, I'm a giver, prophet. Indeed. Your giving has come to a memorial. The Lord has seen your giving spirit. And because you are a giver, the Lord has chosen to bless you. The Lord has chosen to lift you in your family. You will stand out if you are. And keep this broadcast for testimony. In the next five years, you will build mansions your family never built. That case from that area you are coming from is broken, that local government area. I don't know if it's Obako or whatever. The Lord has broken that local government spirit. You will be there and God will just give you favor and connect you to men and women that matter. Men and women who are of worth. From the state where you are, the Lord will take you to New York at some point. Then he will locate you to Ontario, Canada at some point. But in all these things, the Lord is lifting you. If you are. I bless you. He says, I've been struggling with the spirit of delay. I bless you. It's done. It's done. If you are, Franca. It's done. You're giving has been remembered and never stop giving. 
You gave somebody from your village, they used your giving for a charm, and they spoke delay over you. Now God will give you sensitivity in giving, so that you don't give wrong people. Praise the Lord. Tumi says, I'm looking for a job. I'm working in Kontaraka, and they promised me promotion. I bind the spirit of delay in promotion, uh, Shepi. Everyone watching, share in your WhatsApp groups, share on Facebook, share on Insta, share whatever you can share. You may just deliver your family. I have five minutes. I need to be out of here, maybe in five minutes time. But share. You don't know who may be spoken to, like Franka has been. So this Shepi promotion, I declare it. I give your company in the spirit 21 days at a decree of a prophet like Elijah. May they promote you. And then you're going to have a permanent job. You are saying the one who was wearing spectacles is your former boyfriend. Oh, glory to God for confirming. What tribe was this one? Was he, what, where is he, what tribe is he? Confirm that, uh, Shepi. I want to say something. Hey, I can't see much here. I wish I had somebody here helping me. Because some of the messages are getting lost. Okay, so you said your former boyfriend... That's why I'm saying, Shepi, let's talk in the uh, what's message. What tribe was your former boyfriend? I'll say something. Okay, just confirm it here, then I'll say. Praise the Lord. If you have shared, raise your hand. If you have shared to your groups, you have, let me give you a prophecy. You have shared, raise your hand. He's also Swana. Fantastic. I'll say something between the two. Let's talk in the, in the uh, messenger. The messenger. Let's talk. I'll tell you, I'll give you direction further. But the spirit of delay has been broken. Delay can also be caused because you are choosing the wrong person for the right person or choosing the right person for the wrong reasons. I'll give you direction. Wherever you are, please, right, right now, I want to share. If you have shared, raise your hand. Let me use my other phone to see because I can't see here. Let me use my other phone to see. I'm not failing to, I'm struggling to see the comments. Quickly, if you have shared, raise your hand. If you have shared, raise your hand. If you have shared, raise your hand. You have shared, raise your hand. Okay, man of God. Yes, uh, Shepi. Okay. Okay, Chmomo, you've shared. Son, if it takes seven months, you are still in the copper belt. There's a problem with my ministry. Sister Stella, you are just from a promotion. But may God settle you in that area of life. I pray that the Lord does that for you. You know the area I'm talking about. May God quickly give you comfort in that area. Sister Regina, thank you for sharing. May God see you through today as you go for that meeting. May God just give you supernatural favor. This delay will not hold on. It can't go beyond today. This is your season. Sister Fumi, your son is healed. Tell me what the problem with your son. I see health challenge because of wrong association. Please tell me, sister, phone me from the UK. My daughter Violet, if I be a prophet of God, if it passes six months, you don't fully settle. God did not call me. Mtumba Piri, may God destabilize your associations and give you peace. And may money you are looking for come now. You are asking God for money. It's coming. It will take three days. Chair, you've been trusting God for all these things we are asking in prayer. I pray now that God gives you speed in the name of Jesus. Quickly now, if you are there, I see, okay. So please, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel is, C, is, is, is Prophet John CM. We are now at 207 members joining Instagram Prophet John CM. Today, I don't know why the Spirit of God took me in this route and took me deeper to explain things and give prophecy. You don't know. That's why I said, Junin, I don't know how I'll be led. So the Lord led me in that direction. I've given prophecies to the UK, to the US, to Lesotho, to Zambia, to South Africa. Share. If you're keeping shy, uh, Shepi from South Africa, share. That lady from Lesotho, share in your groups. I want to give prophecy if I can. I'm giving you a minute. Confirm your, your, your son, uh, Funmi Akolawali. Confirm what the problem with your son is. And confirm if you are moving or you are intending to move. I want to say something. 
quickly in the name of Jesus. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly, if you can. Quickly. Right now, quickly, quickly. Very, very fast. I want to close now. I want to close. I want to close. I want to close. Because you are used to false prophets, so you think I'll give you a fake prophecy. It's not possible. I work for God differently. It will not happen. Quickly. Quickly. I want to give a prophecy to you. And those who are confirming, confirm. Confirm now. Confirm. You are confirming prophecy. Confirm it. Okay, I'll talk with you on Messenger. Fantastic. Confirm it quickly. Quickly. Quickly, I've got two minutes. Because I want to make a prayer for you now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Alright. As you've tuned in today, may the hand of the Lord separate you from wrong friendships. May the devil lose when the devil entered your friends. May God disconnect you and disfellowship you with wrong friends. May God right now place you with the right friends, the ones that will help your star shine, the ones that will help your purpose be fulfilled, the ones who will help your visions to come to pass, the ones that will be led to happiness and you grow older with. I bless you now as you tuned in and as you shared. May your life never lack oil. May your home never lack provision. May your spirit never be dry. May destiny help us locate you. I release the spirit of God from this altar room unto you. May the spirit of prayer beyond this word and the prayer today locate you. May God's divine energy from this place and my spirit be shared with you. May you have the ability to have right friends. May the supernatural be your provision. May you never lack. May you not be sick. May you not prematurely die. May you not be unfortunate. May you not be disfavored. This is your season. This is your hour. This is your time. May things happen for you. May things be easy for you. I bless you. Until tomorrow. Until tomorrow. No one will hate you for no reason. Life changes for today. Never again. Never again. Never again. So Shepi Makumi, share this and let me pray for you privately. I bless all of you until tomorrow. I don't know what God will lead us into. I didn't prepare for this. But God be praised. Shalom. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and my Instagram channel as well. God bless you.